Good morning. Good morning. Look at who I have for my co-leaders today. So I ran into these two guys as they were coming back from taking out the trash. Um, so I thought that I would actually include them as co-leaders in my runner's vlog today. So yesterday I talked about judgment, guys. Woo, I can't go down that far. I talked about judgment, okay, and the judge voice, and I talked about discernment. So um, the judge voice often helps to point us to discernment on the inside for what we're supposed to do. And sometimes it's, it's not helpful. Sometimes it's like an unhelpful voice that we hear inside of ourselves, yeah? So for example, when I was running earlier, just, just a minute ago, I saw some people on the street that were standing really close to each other. And I immediately had this judge voice reaction in my head of they shouldn't be standing that close to each other, right? And now look, two minutes later, here I am standing right next to some people on the street. So um, I heard in my head that judge voice, I heard the should, and then um, I immediately kind of ejected it from my head. Why, why did I do that? Well, because that's a, kind of almost like a bad habit that has been programmed into my brain. So if you think about it, like two months ago, if I had seen two people standing next to each other on the street, I wouldn't have thought a thing about it, right? Like there wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have thought a second thought about it. However, because of a lot of the media that I'm seeing and a lot of the just stuff that's out there that I'm seeing, that, that voice has been programmed into my head. Like it's been programmed in of, oh, they shouldn't be standing next to each other. So it's interesting to note that just two months ago, that voice would have never come up and then it's been programmed into my head as a habit. So as I know that this isn't super helpful right now because I don't know those people's situation, maybe they cohabitate just like we do, the immediate antidote to that is curiosity. Okay, so curiosity is an incredible antidote to the judge. And it's something that we try to train into everyone, to include my kids. Um, and in all of our workshops with leaders and stuff, we, we try to like work into them. Whenever you hear that judge voice in your head, get curious. Curiosity is just this wonderful antidote that we've been given. So whenever you hear a should, get curious. Be like, huh, I wonder why it's like that. I wonder why the situation is this way. You know, instead of saying blaming or instead of saying, oh, it's, it happened because of this or it happened because of that, go to the curiosity of, huh, that's super interesting. And then we can, again, turn it on the inside and say, what does that mean for me? You know, so, um, Curiosity. Curiosity is a great antidote to that judge voice that's just, just bad habits or habits that have been programmed into our brains that aren't super helpful. There's some awesome uh, neuro-linguistic programming stuff that's out there for habits and, help, and finding ha helpful habits in your head. So if you want to look that up, that's some really helpful stuff out there too. All right. Stay safe all. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.